Hey guys, I just wanted to fill you guys up on the concert, post-concert, thoughts, reviews, depression, everything. Let's let's get into it. I went to get something else and I, of course I got the Blackpink Oreo again. Ever since the concert, I do want to collect all four of the girls. Wait, where is the photo card? Um, photo card, sort of missing. <laughs> oh, thank God. <sighs> Three, two, one. Cringe. Anyways, we're just gonna put it right here. Let's get down to business. Okay, you guys. So when I was trying to list down all the things to say during this review session, I was like, you know what? It's gonna be fun if I just have like a presentation slide. And then I went on and actually did a whole slide. And like, I don't even have the time to do this. Like, why did I do this? But yeah, when I was thinking of vlogging this, I just thought, you know what? Let's let's create a whole presentation slide. So we are ready. Like, we are born ready, you guys. We're born pink, KL born ready. Anyways. Yeah! Okay, so first of all, we're gonna talk about the plan for the day and we're gonna talk about the concert prep so what i mean by this is what i actually planned for the concert like clearly i've been thinking of this concert for like a month and when it was closer to the date i was actually planning out what time to be there blackpink is huge so i know there's gonna be so many people queuing for this if i'm not mistaken i think i heard people queuing up at like 6 a.m and what calm down but i totally get it though like i'm a blink and i would actually do that basically my plan was to wake up get ready and have lunch with my friend and then straight to the venue so my plan was to reach the stadium around 2 to 3 p.m. so the entire day was gonna be about Blackpink concert and it's just Blackpink however the reality check though I couldn't get there as soon as 2 or 3 30 basically my plans kept changing throughout the day even the night before I kept feeling really bad to tell my friend to get ready too early because I know she's not a great fan like I'm a big fan but so yada 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 and we kept changing the plan the plan was then to go after lunch we're gonna get back get ready and then leave but after lunch we kind of took a detour and we, we started shopping and then came back and got ready so by the time we left it was already around um, four something by the time we reached the stadium it was I think 6 20 we reached the stadium it was not bad but for a k-pop concert that is bad because k-pop concert is huge and the merch and everything it's it's a whole festival and I wanted to be part of all of that we started queuing really fast I didn't go through every store and there was a lot of lot of tiny things like there was like tattoos and this and that like it was so pretty and I want to be part of all of that but we went really late so we couldn't and we didn't get the tattoo I really wanted like the tattoo on my face that said blink or like black pink or whatever the crowd was huge literally on the way we could see the crowd and as the like LRT doors opened we all like screamed we were all like Whoa! like we were all cheering for such a big festival everywhere you turn there were blinks everyone wearing black and pink and attire and like everybody holding a light stick it was such a beautiful feeling like i i was really happy that i was filled in a room full of like all these blinks by the way the train ride though it was like crazy the initial plan was to just like mrt interchange it to lrt and the second train was gonna take us there but currently one of the train was under like maintenance so we had to switch like three different trains to get to our location so it took a while but we reached um within two hours it was pretty fast honestly and this is our first time in that station when we're interchange and everything so we didn't know where to go everywhere we turned around we saw blinks with like light sticks so we'd be like let's follow them let's follow them they're clearly going to the concert so by the time we reached we wanted to get something to eat like we know it was gonna be crazy and we're not supposed to bring food inside so we just got ourselves sandwiches and we went into the venue and honestly the queue was not bad we queued up to the gate for about 45 minutes and by the time we sat inside our zone it was around 7.45 to 7.50 so that was just like 10 minutes for the concert it was just nice for us to like you know relax get our spaces and like get ready for the concert next was the seating expectation so i bought the CAT3 which was an 800 ringgit ticket 
And honestly, right, I know how the stadium is. I heard nightmares about Billie Eilish concert. So I was just hoping for the worst case scenario. But honestly, I paid so much. I paid 800. So I kind of felt like, you know, it's not going to be too bad. So I went in with this expectation of it's a fast seat, but it's an 800 ringgit seat. So, you know, it should be good at a certain point. Reality check though, the seating was in an open stadium but we were seated so far to the stage, our zone was a little far and I was just like, hold on, like we cannot see them. I was literally rosé at this point. Come on, like make things better for me, I paid 800. Like I'm stressing on this number because it is a huge number you guys, it's not, it's not funny. So I'm sitting here being really nervous about my seats and I was thinking about the concert quality. And reality, the sound system was amazing. The screen was so big, like you can see them sweating through the screen. So it was really big and clear, it was not crazy. And um, honestly, they did such a great job with the fireworks and everything, like it was beautiful. really appreciate going to a YG concert. So the quality of the concert was amazing. The fact that I couldn't see them, I was just really really sad about it. And every time I had to look at the screen to see them clearly was such a painful thought because every time I saw the screen, I kept thinking, look, it seems like it's another YouTube video. The fact that they're right there but it doesn't feel like it because they're so far away, you don't see them. They were not clear enough so it didn't feel real to me. Every time I kept going back and forth to the screen and I was like, no, 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 don't do this. And I was just trying to look at them but you can't also look at them because they're tiny and I don't want to like miss out on their reaction and expression and everything like that yeah so I was pretty sad and upset and quite quite frankly I was depressed um, during the concert and after the concert and the day after the concert I think like the third day or like the fourth day is when I realized you know what the concert was actually great like yeah your seating sucks but the concert was so great I kind of wish I enjoyed watching them not that I feel like I was so sad during the concert. I was actually sad during the concert because they were so far away and I'm a huge fan of them. I wanted to see them clearly. And when I was looking through the clips and I realized like, I didn't even notice that. I didn't even notice Lisa saying that. I didn't even notice Jenny going brrrr. I didn't notice so many things. And all these things when I watched the clips and I'm like, what in the world? Like, when did this happen? I was so sad to even notice all these wonderful things around me. I was sad. I guess I expected way too much and I've been wanting to go to their concert for the longest time and when it's finally here, I had all these expectations built up and then it was just like a poof, you know, like everything went dark. But putting all that aside, putting all these expectations aside, this was easily one of the best and the biggest concert I've ever been to and the vibe there was amazing because everybody had their light stick, it was such a pretty pink ocean, everything was pink like twinkly. They just looked like stars all over. I did enjoy the vibe around me. I just really wish I was not sad during the concert when I really couldn't see them. But all that happened. But if you look at it in terms of Malaysian open stadium concert, at this point, we just heard way too many things. How people were not really satisfied. It was really sad to hear how people paid so much and not being able to enjoy the concert ride because the experience was not good. There was a whole gate that was blocking them. They didn't even have a seat at one point. Anyways, post-concert review. Honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, I wish I just went in with like zero expectations so I wouldn't be so disappointed throughout the concert. I'm trying my best to be happy and like enjoy this moment. I did though. I did enjoy this moment. I I saw Jisoo you guys, I saw Jenny and I saw Lisa and Rosé, oh Rosé. I actually saw these 
girls. Like, they were breathing the same air as I did. It doesn't make sense at this point. But besides that, overall, I had a great experience. I had a great time with my friend. I really hope the next time I go into concerts like this, I come up better. Like, I come up with a solid plan of going early. I buy the closest tickets or not going to that concert at all because it's so not worth it sitting so far away and paying so much. Go in without expectations. That's a very important thing. Like, go in without any expectations. So if they ever come to Malaysia, I think we are broke for real. Anyway, but yeah, I think that is all the things that I wanted to talk to you guys about. I'm actually very grateful that I went. Like, as much as I'm renting all of this crap, I really appreciate this chance that I have to actually go and spend my money. It's actually so amazing how my favorite K-pop artists came to Malaysia and I got to see them. Even if they were like tiny bits of like entrovies dancing on stage, I got to see them. Like, they were there and I knew it was them. By the way, the girls, oh my god. Guys, these girls are so pretty. They're so beautiful. I wanna see them up close next time. Like seriously, you need to see them like this close. <laughs> So that is all you guys, I finally went to a Blackpink concert and it was amazing, it was great. So I hope you guys enjoyed my vlog, I hope to see you guys very very soon in my next vlog and thank you so much for subscribing, if you're not already subscribed please do so, link in the description and I will see you guys very soon, stay safe out there, bye bye! This is Tess Bumpkin.